الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد ولا علیہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد قال رسول الله صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آیت المنافقی بغض الانصار و آیت المؤمن حب الانصار رواه مسلم The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the signs of a hypocrite is that they hate the Ansar. The Ansar were the helpers, the supporters uh, in Medina who helped and assisted the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Muhajireen, those who made hijrah from Mecca to establish Islam. And the signs and a sign of a believer, a sign of a believer is that they love the Ansar. So that's from Iman. It's from Iman to love the Sahaba of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين. In another hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لا يحبهم إلا المؤمن ولا يبغضهم إلا المنافق من من أحبهم أحبه الله ومن أبغضهم أبغضه الله. وقال الشعبة قلت لعادي سمعته من براءة قال إياي حدثه. This is another hadith in uh, Muslim where the Prophet ﷺ also said that that no one loves them except the believer, meaning the Ansar. And no one hates them except for a hypocrite. And whoever loves them, Allah loves him. And whoever hates them, then Allah hates, them, hates him. This is, uh, was collected in Muslim. This shows us many, many benefits. And it is a direct and open uh, co- um, in opposition to the creed of the Shia. The creed of the Shia, the Rafida. Laysa, not all the Shia, not every sect of Shia, because there are some Shia that just have light to Shia, you know, that they have some light Shiism, meaning that they don't hate the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in, and they don't say those evil, wicked statements that those the Twelvers and, and what we see, the authorities in Iran and, and the Khomeini, the, the, um, the Rafida and these other sects of Shia. This is imperative for us as believers in Islam to know and have love for Ahl Islam. Love for the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anahu, because they are the way in which we have the pristine form of Islam today. Because they were the ones who were there when the revelation was being revealed to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they were the ones who carried the ahadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam them and they are at the ras or the head of the salaf as-salih they are at the head of the pious predecessors they are the first jama' of the muslims is the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in and this is something incredibly important for us to understand this point and that we should have no love. Don't believe the fact that just because you say, Oh, they're my Muslim brothers. Why is this difference between Shia and Sunni and this? No. They made the difference. They made the difference with Bid'a Mukaffara. When they said uh, uh, Abu Bakr and, uh, and Umar were uh, hypocrites. When they said uh, uh, Uthman, is, is, is a, they made takfir of him. And when they said that uh, Umina, Aisha, radiallahu ta'ala anha, that she is an adulteress, and among other things, they have parties, I've seen it, you can see it, and witness it on the, on the YouTube, and you can find many of the people who hold this creed, they curse the Sahaba, day in and day out. This is a part of their creed, that is a pillar of their creed. And the Prophet wasallam made clear for us, in those very hadith, in that very hadith, he said, whoever, he said, no one loves them except for a believer. Because that, that's the sign of a believer. And then he said, and no one hates them except for a hypocrite. And a hypocrite, as we know, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you're a believer in the Quran, you know that Allah says the hypocrites are in the lowest depths of the fire. They're in the lowest depths of the hellfire. Wa'iyadin billah. And along with this, the Prophet wasallam said that Allah loves the one who loves the companions of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, who loves the Ansar and the Muhajireen. And loves all the Sahaba. Because the Sahaba, they carried Islam. Radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. And the one who hates them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates him. Because they were the carriers of this religion. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.